my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. The readings of the day reveals to all the humanity and brings amazement to all those who heard the teaching of Jesus Christ in the temple. Through this teaching, Jesus Christ proves himself to be God in word and deed. He teaches as one who has divine authority and he acts with authority in word and deed. We too should live our Christian life and bear witness and proclaim it through our good deeds and actions. When we take a look into the history, it teaches and reveals the truth about the existence of evil in the world. We all believe that man is good when he comes into this world or in his virgin. In the present age and the century, it would not be good to believe in demon and possessions but it is very clear and true there is evil, an evil power, but we should not worry or believe in them because we have a true living God and we all believe in true and only God and we all should trust that God is stronger than any other evil or evil power. God is perfect. God is good. God is love. Love that is stronger than death. And we should always believe and love our brothers and sisters who are in the image of God's goodness. And we should never see the evil in other people. Because the wise and loving man will always believe in the good core of the others. Like a mother, we will always love our child, no matter what our child does. So let us not look for demons and possessed. Let us train our gaze and our own being to seek the good in others. He who seeks finds. Jesus turned to the sick, the outcasts and sinners, healing, forgiving. He made life possible, not condemned. God is not a fire of destruction. He wants the fire of love, a love that is ready to give everything. St. Paul's letter should not discourage us. Instead, it leads to each one of us to holiness, whether we are married or not, student, working, already retired, everywhere we should strive to do our best. What we do, we try to do it perfectly, undivided, with all our heart, we do it lovingly. In the Eucharistic celebration, Jesus meets us in word and deed. He speaks to his word of love and he sanctifies us in the bread of devotion. He himself enters into the hearts and essence of each one of us so that only God lives in us. May Almighty God help us to do good deeds and act with love towards others. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us pray for all the people who are sick. Let us pray for all the people who are celebrating their birthdays, anniversaries, and who asked our prayers. May God send the Holy Spirit upon them and bless everyone who are in need of God's grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you all. Amen. In the name of the Father, 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.